What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video I want to do a quick review of a couple of the Matador products that I've recently picked up actually for the second time now from REI. I originally bought these had them set up for some travel and stuff that I was going to do. My wife ended up borrowing them loved them so I ended up buying just a couple of extra things from Matador so that we were both taking care of. Uh, Overall, it is probably one of my preferred systems now as far as just short weekend trips and having everything you need toiletries wise. So um, this is definitely going to be my go to if you're doing a longer trip, I would definitely recommend something else or if Matador is watching this uh, kind of plussing up the sizes for some of the soap dispensers and things so then that way that it's all taken care of and then I'll hit on one of the things that I actually broke uh, by accident just so that way you guys as the viewers are aware of not overpacking some of the items so you're not blowing out the stitching and all that. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into it so that way you guys can see what's going on with some of these products and then determine whether or not this would be a good buy for you for just a short weekend trip. And then hopefully if Matador you're watching, you guys can take some notes from what I've kind of experienced with it and then hopefully have some ideas for some future products. So with that, uh, I recently bought this. This is going to be the waterproof travel canister, just a small little canister that can hold a couple of pills, vitamins, cash, SD cards, anything that's small that you may want to be taking on your trip that you can just throw in your pocket. You can definitely throw this in there. Um, I actually may probably use this just as a small cash canister that I throw in my vehicle with a couple $20 bills, some 50s and maybe 100 so then that way I have cash just on hand, just stuffed away and uh, kind of out of sight, out of mind. And then that way, if I need it, I have it just in that little container. Um, I definitely threw some SD cards in here for some dive stuff recently. So definitely have a, a little bit of space. Uh, it's going to cost you about eight bucks total. Next, we have the Better Tether gear straps. These are actually pretty similar to the Cedar Summit straps that I have. You got about 80 inches of strap to be able to wrap around a bag uh, and keep things you know, tied down, whatever the case may be. Uh, that you're trying to do I would definitely recommend and I've experienced this a couple of times as well as a couple of other guys uh, going on long trips packing out a lot of stuff for you know equipment and gear so on and so forth in a duffel bag sometimes the duffel bag zippers get blown out and uh, you gotta you know try and protect all of your stuff and not lose it so having straps like this to help close everything up and keep things nice and tight is a nice thing to have so I would definitely recommend these uh, the Cedar Summit ones that I have only have a single side that you can pull the strap from, where this has two sides you can pull the strap from, and then you also have this little center loop and hook set up to where you can kind of set this up a little bit easier to where you, know, you wrap this around the bag, hook it into place, and then cinch it down where the Cedar Summit ones that I have, you kind of have to set the loop up or completely unthread the strap from the little buckle and then set it up in that configuration. So this is definitely a... Uh, a great feature when it comes to this guy uh, in comparison to some of the other straps that I've used in the past. So definitely highly recommended for this guy. Uh, it's made out of just aluminum, your straps, and then you got a little bit of that kind of proprietary PVC fabric stuff that I know um, Blue Force Gear uses on a lot of their pouches. So definitely a nice feature when it comes to straps and just keeping things nice and um, contained when it comes to bags and things that you may want to strap down. So next we have, oh, and before I get to that, that's going to be about 12 bucks for those. But next we have the flat pack toiletry case that's going to cost you roughly around 25 bucks, I believe. Um, pretty nice and simple bag when it comes down to it. It reminds me a lot of just a simple dry bag in the way that it's constructed, especially with the coated liner on the interior of the bag. Uh, not a whole lot going on with it. You just open this up, stuff everything that you need down in there, and then you're just simply rolling up the top and then buckling it up at the top. So uh, pretty simple and straightforward when it comes down to that. I will say you do have to be really careful, and this is what I experienced with the flat pack soap bar case. Uh, that soap bar case is actually pretty small. I was not able to fit kind of like do cannon size uh, soap bars in there and I actually blew out the stitching by trying to kind of overpack it so definitely be careful when you're packing these things out if you overpack it try and roll it up and then um, and then buckle it you do risk blowing out the stitching up here at the top on either end so definitely you know one thing to be cognizant of with these they're not bulletproof they're definitely not going to you know take the abuse if you really try and beat them up so uh, definitely take care of them and don't overpack them so uh, 
I believe the soap bar case is going to cost you roughly around 15 to 20 bucks. Um, if I remember correctly, it may be a little bit less than that, but that's the one that I broke and I blew out the stitching right here. And the stitching is the exact same kind of construction as the flat pack uh, toiletry case. So uh, moving on, then last but not least, we have the flat pack toiletry bottles. And these are just a couple of small little bottles that you can throw soap in. I haven't had a single issue with these at all. And these are probably one of the coolest pieces to their entire setup and kit uh, so it's gonna cost you around 35 bucks I believe maybe 40 bucks for the entire three pack they are a little bit pricey and spendy but um, if you just want something simple and straightforward that you can throw in a bag and then take onto an aircraft or just something small for a weekend trip this is definitely probably my go-to above a lot of the other products that I've purchased from REI Sportsman's Warehouse Walmart and a couple of other stores uh, these definitely have all of them beat so uh, pretty simple and straightforward you have just that kind of waterproof material that everything is made out of and then everything is essentially kind of heat sealed uh, so that way you don't have to worry about any leaks or anything you do have a little buckle loop thing on the back side so you can you know loop these together or whenever you get wherever you're going hook them onto something in the shower or in the bathroom and then the cool thing about how these are set up is you do have your cap and that just opens and closes simply like that and then to fill this you just twist off the cap everything thread portion wise is on the interior of the pouch so it's pretty protected uh, you don't have to have all this excess stuff sticking out from the actual uh, soap uh, bottle itself and then you just fill the soap or just dump the soap inside of the little bottle from the top right there and you're good to go thread that back on and you're good to hook for whatever short little trip you're going on. So, uh, like I said, it's about thirty-five to forty bucks for the three packs. So they are a little, they are a little expensive, but definitely probably hands down one of the best setups that I've had in a really, really long time, just for short little weekend trips. Uh, I would like to definitely see a larger version of this guy right here, just because it is a good, good setup, and for longer trips, it would definitely be nice to have something a little bit larger that you can throw in your. Uh, checked baggage and then be able to go for the entire trip without having to go buy extra soap or anything like that so with that a little bit over five minutes but i wanted to cover everything and then definitely take a note uh, on the uh, potential of blowing out the stitching and all of that if you overpack some of this stuff so uh, that flat pack soap bar case could definitely be a little bit bigger but uh if you're just running the small little bar soap then no issues there so uh, with that, if you have any questions, please feel free. Leave a comment. We'll help you out in any way that we can in answering those questions. And with that, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.